Here on Driving Television, our current long-term test vehicle is a minivan. Now, we need a minivan to haul around all of our people, our equipment, and to shoot the beautiful cars that you see on the show. It seems like our fully loaded Grand Caravan just arrived yesterday, but we've actually had it for six months and we've driven it for 20,000 kilometers. This is definitely a case of time flies when you're having fun. This isn't the first Grand Caravan that we've had as a long-term test vehicle. The last one worked flawlessly, and you can go to our website and look at that review. It's good information if you're in the market for a used van. I drive the van when we film the cars you see on the show. A couple months ago, we had a problem with remote control. It just didn't seem to work unless you're really close to the van. But since then, it's kind of cleared itself up. That's the only problem. Pretty impressed. I've owned two Dodge Caravans in the 90s, and they were extremely unreliable. This, however, has been totally reliable and extremely comfortable, and my kids love it. After 20,000 kilometers, our fuel consumption works out to 15 liters per 100 kilometers in mostly city driving, but when we head out on the highway, that drops to just 9.8 liters per 100 K, which is very good for a big van. The Dodge Grand Caravan is the best-selling van in Canada, and for good reason. It's a very well-designed product. The powerful engine, smooth and quiet ride, supreme comfort and reliability have definitely won our crew over. The most important thing about this van is that it's smooth and it's quiet. Very important things. The power is smooth, the brakes are really, really smooth. And the best thing, the stow and go. You can just stuff things in there, it makes everything uncluttered, and you got tons of room for filming. Whenever they get to pick a long-term test van, the Grand Caravan is always pretty high up on their list. And for a bunch of guys that drive it a lot and also get a chance to drive the other products that are available, that's some pretty high praise. Want more? Check out drivingtelevision.com for expanded reviews and more automotive stories. When you know it, as soon as we turned off the cameras when we recorded that update, we had two other small things pop up in the van. One of them could be kind of important, or it is important. It's the electronic stability program light came on the dash, and it's disabled the stability program in the van. So that's got to go and get fixed at the dealership. Something else popped up. Also, one of the sliding power doors on the van um, is kind of working intermittently. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to take it in. They're covered by warranty, and we'll have to give you guys an update on our update. See if it's a small fix or a big fix. Hey, if you're in the market and you're looking for a new car and you don't know the kind of information you should be looking for, don't forget to look for my book, which is called Motor Mouth, the Canadian Car Buying Guide. You can look for it on our website, which is drivingtelevision.com. So that's it for today's show. We will see you next time. Safe driving.